What is up, everybody? Big Out Triple Six here, the Golf Gamer. So check it out, man. I hope you guys having a wonderful freaking week day. Unfortunately, my behind has to go back to work. I really don't want to go, but who does? Seriously, who does freaking like to work and stuff? Um, I got to pay my freaking bills somehow, you know, like everybody else. But um, check it out. If you haven't heard, PlayStation is actually getting rid of their... Um, TV shows and movies for you to um, rent or, or buy. Um, I'll put my two thoughts after the article and stuff like that because I have a bunch of stuff to, to, to say about this. So check it out, man. My phone will actually open. Sony has announced that it is going to retire selling of movies and TV shows directly through the PlayStation Store as of August 31st, 2021. In a PlayStation um, blog, Head of SIE Video Business, Vanessa Lee, explained the change was due in part of tremendous growth of PlayStation fans using subscription-based and ad-based entertainment streaming service on our consoles, such as Netflix, Disney Plus, and Amazon Prime. Users who have previously purchased movie and content directly through, our, through the store will be able to access their purchase on demand, playback on the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and mobile devices. As of this date, you'll be still able to watch things you already own. PlayStation formerly had its own streaming service in the U.S. as known PlayStation View, which I never even used at all. I don't think I ever used it, like at all, back in like 2007, 2008, and stuff. Um, but they closed, they shut that mofo down in January um, um, 2020. With PlayStation deciding time to remain focused on our car, core car, <laughs> core gaming. So check it out, man. I remember when I got my PS3, there wasn't that many um, streaming sites. There wasn't like Disney Plus, there weren't like freaking. Um, Peacock, um, Crackle, stuff like that. Stuff like that didn't hardly exist. There, there was only um, Netflix and freaking Hulu. Heck, I didn't get freaking Hulu till like 2009? Yeah, 2009, 2010. I didn't get that stuff. Hell, freaking Netflix back in 2007, 2008 were still freaking selling on um, people... Uh, um, sell, sending discs like for episodes and stuff to freaking people. That's that's how far it was, man. And Hulu back then used to be freaking free. Long time ago, long time ago, way way before most of, most of these young gamers even talk about. Well, also another thing, PlayStation um, back then had a couple of their own personal shows like the Tester. If some of you old, old cats know what they're talking about back in PS3 days. I used to watch that crap all the time. They had like, I think, three seasons. If you like actually won the contest, you actually became a freaking like PlayStation tester, which is actually pretty cool. I, um, some of them I pretty much thought they were kind of frauds and try to say play video games, but really didn't and stuff. But it was like a reality TV show. And, um... It was alright. It had a little bit of drama here and there and stuff. But anyways, yeah, back in the day, they had that type of stuff. And, you know, they're the only people that sold movies, which I never bought anything, like, rented or, like, bought movies from them ever because I was doing the R, Métis, pirate, the pirate stuff. <laughs> but they did have some couple of things free. Um, they had like a bunch of anime free. I think it was like either like last year when I got that mofo or a year before that. I, I got like the whole complete season of, of the anime of Devil May Cry and stuff. And um, yeah, I thought that stuff was pretty cool. But I never never thought they were actually going to um, sell that many movies because at the, t at the time when like went by, there's been so many freaking different type of movie apps. Especially like HBO Go, especially freaking Netflix. Mostly everybody, everybody I know have freaking Netflix, and I, I don't use Netflix that much to be honest. 
I, I hardly use Netflix. I'm I'm more like a freaking um, Hulu Hulu guy, to be honest. But I haven't been watching that many shows this year, to be, and that's that's usually weird for me because I'm always watching every single year. I'm always watching a different type of show. Well, on my Hulu stuff, it was like freaking um, um, 911. That's actually a good show. Um, Blackish, Grownish. Um, I think Fresh Off the Boat, which that's that. This final season was like two years ago, unfortunately. But I mostly watch my stuff on Hulu, especially anime. A lot of freaking anime and stuff. Um, but all these streaming service has been... I say there's too too many. Because back then, nobody actually used internet stuff. Especially the beginning of PS3 days. Most people didn't, didn't have, have that type of internet stuff. Really, it was mostly just freaking dollar. Ow, my freaking chest or it, it, itchy. But y- y'all guys don't need to know about that. But yeah, back in the day, man, <laughs> there weren't that many many freaking sites, so people just bought bought stuff, whatever, which was kind of stupid because you could have been a pirate. But nowadays, there's too many too many freaking um, streaming apps. Especially, um, they just announced what Par- Paramount Plus and CBS Access and stuff. This it's it's getting ridiculous. It's, it really is, in my opinion. If you have every single app, like freaking Peacock, uh, Crave, where they have Shutter now, um, Netflix, Disney Plus, freaking Hulu, um, HBO Max, crap, what, what else? Cinemax, um, the stars of an app? If I'm not mistaken, I don't, freak, I don't freaking know. I, don't, I freaking get my stuff illegally. I I, I have a, I have an app on my Xbox that I can I can freaking watch all those type of shows and stuff when I want to. Um, but yeah, it's it's too many apps nowadays, and I know people ain't watching cable because I haven't watched anything on cable in like oh my gosh, like forever, forever. And I don't think anybody um, in my in my you know around my age or younger even watch cable that I recall but um I know times is changing and this is the reason why Sony is like pretty much getting rid of this and stuff I know I just ran off my freaking streaming service but I just want to get my point across about that because nobody's nobody's watching freaking cable and everybody's have these different type of um apps that they go actually watch the the, the show anywhere they want to and stuff because I think next month is it I don't know if next month um is Mortal Kombat movie or was that freaking Godzilla movie god damn it my Xbox just turned on fuck <laughs> hey Google turn off Xbox there it goes <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't remember freaking turning the Xbox on but I did watch Superman Superman Lois it's uh, first episode's not that bad not that bad Talking about the freaking Superman's kids and stuff was very interesting because uh, I don't know anything about freaking Superman's kids. But I'm running on here. Um, what else did I want to talk about? The freaking Dr. Seuss stuff is ridiculous. Man, <laughs> if you haven't seen me on Twitter, I'm constantly freaking spitting out facts on these idiots that know about. If you haven't heard Dr. Seuss, six books of Dr. Seuss that has freaking. um some racism BS if you haven't heard they're getting rid of it and stuff because um, they're most of the people the SJWs are complaining about you know showing that to young kids and not explaining this stuff to them they're, they'd rather hide the stuff than actually explain about racism cause I believe me I call some people out on that bullshit and guess what they couldn't respond because I was spitting out facts because that's what I do on Twitter. Um, what else I want to talk about? Really? Nothing, man. I've just been mostly relaxing and playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I know, I know I talk about that stuff all the time. I just want to, you know, try to finish that game off. I'm at the very last freaking um, chapter of the DLC and stuff. What's funny about that? If, if you have a PS5, okay, 
and you go to like your, your profile, then you go to your, your list of games. It's freaking ridiculous. Sony, fix fix that that um, stuff where you can actually go to your profile like in one click instead of like three, three four freaking clicks, all right? Um, it, they tell you the amount of hours that you have into a game. Apparently, um, I have 210 hours in Assassin's Creed um, Odyssey, which I don't believe that because my the end game um, hours is like 167 so I don't know what's right or what's wrong because that's a lot of freaking time <laughs> no, I think the 100, 160 170 hours I think that's the right time but I don't know man I don't know if that stuff is accurate from PlayStation side or what but who knows but um, I think that's about it I want to talk about there hasn't been really anything interesting the freaking um, uh, except the fall, the fall guys being bought by Epic Epic Games, which I haven't heard anybody. Uh, I played the um, PlayStation Plus version. And I was just like, eh, it's just another battle royale, another battle royale that um, everybody tried for once and, and moved on because everybody playing Among Us and to be Among Us is garbage. Just just in my opinion, um, the state of play. That was announced, I think it was like last week and stuff. Everybody was like kind of meh about it. I, I thought it was okay. There's a bunch of games that I, I wanted, to, wanted to freaking try out. Kenya, Bridge of Spears, the freaking amazing. Um, Sifu, the, the, the uh, Chinese um, fighting game. That's what it looked like to me, a freaking... Um, Basically, a guy in the hallway beating up people, and when you get hit or something, he actually starts getting older and stuff. Every time you you freaking go down and stuff, which was kind of interesting concept and stuff. Um, people are mad about the Final Fantasy um, up, upgrade to the PS5, and some people probably people that have the PS4 version like I do, but I get the PS5 version for free because I have the PS5. Um, it has DLC for it, like the Yuffie content, which is kind of strange. That if you if you play the play the original Final Fantasy VII, Yuffie doesn't come in till like after Midgar, like way way after. And it's kind of weird that that Yuffie's in Midgar. It's just from what I, from what I've seen of this stuff that they're trying to put. All the Final Fantasy, like every single Final Fantasy, Fantasy stuff, before Crisis, Crisis Core, freaking um, Dirt of Cerberus, if you saw that Yuffie trailer, freaking Weiss, Wes, whatever his freaking name, from Dirt, Dirt of Cerberus, yeah, so I don't know what's going on with this freaking um, game, what they're going to do, because I haven't finished it yet, but I sort of got spoiled what happened, which... Blows my freaking mind, man. It really does. Because that doesn't make any sense at all. But whatever. Uh, I'm just going to um, see what they're going to do. I still need to finish it because I'm on like, I think like chapter 13. Level 13. I'm like right there the first time we, we go see Aerith. Like at, at her house. That's where I'm at and stuff. Um, there's a few things I'm kind of, kind of confused about. About the um, the spirits. Um, we, we fight Reno. I think the Reno the first time and stuff at the church. You guys know that that church part on Final Fantasy VII and stuff. But um, yeah, I'm rambling on, man. Um, if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. And yeah, man, <laughs> I'm intrigued by this Final Fantasy stuff. And also, a bunch of games are getting like the PS5 um, upgrade. I think Mortal Shell. I just bought like. I think like two, three weeks ago, that's getting a, a PS5 upgrade for free. Um, Crash Bandicoot, which I don't have. Crash Bandicoot 4, which I don't have. That's that's getting a PS5 upgrade. Um, Final, the Final Fantasy getting a PS5 upgrade. Freaking, um, what's p pissed me off that I bought Tony Hawk um, Pro Skater 1 and 2, the, the remaster and stuff. You have to pay to get that um, PS5 upgrade. I think it's like $10. But guess what I'm going to do? 
buy that mofo used. <laughs> because we already paid for the thing, we should get, get that upgrade for free. Um, what other game? I think like the, the, the Sunken City and stuff, that's not a free, a free PS5 upgrade. And the people that that doing the, the PS5 version is not the, the original people that make the PS4 version and stuff. They're pretty much getting sued because um, they had another company make the PS5 version. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. But it's pretty cool that Sony's Sony's company is actually giving us the upgrade for free. And I don't think um, the PS4, the Xbox One. Crap. The Xbox One, one, the Xbox Series, wow, Xbox Series X smart delivery is getting a, um, the, talking about the Tony Hawk Pro Scare 1 and 2, the, that version is getting a upgrade. I think it's just a smart de de delivery. I can't even pronounce that freaking crap. Oh, the fuck. Smart delivery. It's not getting, getting an upgrade. I don't know why. It's just Activision just weird like that, man. They just try to freaking milk and mi freaking milk you dry. On money, even though they're making crap ton, crap ton of money off of Call of Duty and these BS microtransactions, and I'm still afraid of Diablo 2 re Resurrection. All right, I will keep my eye on that shit because that's one of the greatest freaking Diablo games of all time. Better than three, hands down. Period. <laughs> Period, man. <laughs> Period. But anyways, I'm Remy on. I'm out of here, guys. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about, you know, this stuff. The PS5 upgrades. I know some people are not getting, can't find a PS5. And it's ridiculous. I'm sorry about this crap. But it's not, you know, Sony's fault. It's actually freaking NVIDIA's. Or not NVIDIA's. I think, I think it was, it's AMD's fault that they can't supply the, the chips and stuff um, yeah that's about it man I'm gonna make this finish this video and go work out stuff cuz I gotta lose some weight guys but anyways y'all stay awesome wear your mask stay healthy watch out for weirdos I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching bye guys have a good one